This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Leva Bates, the librarian, Peter Avalon, Brandon Cutler, the initiative. Well, Taz, Cutler, and Avalon have been a mainstay of AEW Dark, but it seems like they've made their, uh, their alliance permanent here, doubling themselves wow. the initiative. Interesting. I mean, it took this many weeks to come up uh, with that great name initiative. I like the name. I like the name. Do you know what it's about? I'll let you share. I don't want to spoil the thunder. It's because when you roll a polyhedral die in Dungeons & Dragons, you're rolling for initiative. I know that. Oh, okay. Our audience doesn't know that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. trying to get over with the YouTube mentions. I know what you're doing. North Carolina had a combined weight of 443 pounds. Dax Howard, Cash Wheeler, FT. Oh, dude, that's what we should do. We should just pull up the dog in like a you know, rented Crown Victorian and just show up and just get out, park on the side of the announce desk, and just get out of it like FTR does. Why a Crown Vic? Crown Vic, old school, old school right oh, yeah. It's old school wrestler, good worker gimmick. You know? All right. <laughs> Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, FTR. They sit at 3-0 here in the tag team division. They've scored victories over the Lucha Bros, SCU, and Butcher and Blade. Looking to keep up their winning ways here tonight on Dark. But uh, Leva Bates is not the only interesting party looking on in this matchup. The Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, who I think everyone expected to be immediate rivals for uh, FTR, has a uh, a respect and an appreciation for FTR's abilities, Taz. It's hard not to respect their in-ring ability and you know their, their body of work, their history, and the, uh, their, their, what they've done in the industry already besides here in AEW. So they're legitimate. And, uh, and I think it's cool that the Bucks are sitting in the ringside just hanging out watching what's going on here. So it's good stuff. And the Young Bucks aren't the only eager observers as Tully Blanchard is also in the audience continuing to scout FT uh, Avalon. Making a very hasty escape there. That was smart. That was a veteran move there by Peter to get himself out of harm, potential harm's way. Bit of a stalemate here. It's Dax Harwood and Avalon. Meet center of the ring, calling over tie up side headlock and the takeover. Yeah, strong uh, headlock takeover. And, and both Dax and Cash, strong lockups, their hookups. Uh, that's a big deal. That sets a tone in the match right away in the beginning. We've discussed that before, uh, you know, it's Calvin. Here we go. Boom! Look at that shoulder block right there. And there we see the aforementioned Tully Blanchard looking on and seems when FTR is around, so is Tully. And those, uh, well, there was a tag, but it was not a legal tag. Avalon tag under the rope. So uh, that we were talking about Tully, but that's exactly what happened. And just so, uh, or, you know, try to be people to speed, my friend. FTR, follow the rules, Taz. That's, yes, they do. I mean, you know, Dax busted it right away. He said, hey, hey that's not legal. Got to be legal. They yeah. want to do things clean and e you know, legal. I like it. Watch out, oh. see? Except for that part, see? Yeah, Wheeler, <laughs> Wheeler drew the attention of Brandon Cutler and Hartwood able to capitalize. Oh, wow. Yeah, buddy. That'll bring it right there. What is this here? Bring him knees up and quickly again comes Cash. Cash Wheeler. Taking control of Cutler. Lifting uppercut, knocking Cutler back to the ropes. Ooh. Yeah, that bring the physicality. Just be careful with Cutler. You got those long limbs. He will kick your head off quick. Watch yourself here if you, you Cash Wheeler. Wheeler. Oh, I was going to say Wheeler got the better of that exchange, but Cutler. Look at that spring bar. Oh, oh, that flying forearm. Almost looked like a palm strike. Maybe it was a palm strike. Couldn't tell from the camera angle. And Cutler now tagging out to his partner, Peter Avalon. Oh, look at that. They bring him high, drop him low with the flapjack. And Cash is in trouble right here. Yeah. Oh, the splash, the, the short elbow drop combination. Look at the far leg. A one count kick out there by Cash Wheeler. How about the initiative? And see that right there? Cash tried to grab a single leg out of that front headlock by Peter Avalon. Peter Avalon quickly sprawled. And Taz, we've seen on Dark the initiative, Avalon and Cutler, their tag team cohesion has increased week by week. Yeah, and totally. I mean, they're still searching for their first win, but it, I, I mean, it would be an upset, but not necessarily a surprise. 
Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I, I think you laid it out perfectly. Oh, look, see now that he tagged his foot. That's not legal. And he was also in the center of the ring. He wasn't, That's right. Was an arm's length from the tur top tur turnbuckle. Easy for you to say, but Aubrey Edwards, our referee, did a great job. I Let's, get tongue tied sometimes. I'll also. let you have that one, yeah. <laughs> Double suplex. Oh, Cutler hung out to dry by FTR. Yes, wow, that's a super quick leg drop right there. And by Big Dax. Yep. Super quick elbow drop and the headbutt. Cover, lateral press, two count. Cutler able to kick out. Yeah, like I said earlier, I like the physicality FTR brings. They, they'll, they'll knuckle up, they're ready to go. They, no, they'll bring it. They're going to lay it in hard. And they want it back. They want you to bring it back to them. And that, that's just, that's an old school feel right there. I dig it. And uh, you know, we mentioned that match with the Lucha Bros. That's exactly what happened. It was, it was an absolute firefight. Yeah. Yeah. Both teams left battered and bloody, but FTR left that match victorious. And now the, both legs of Cutler. Oh! Man, Cutler really just snapped. Throat first right there, or maybe sternum first on the, on the ropes. Tough there. Cover. Oh, but Aubrey had her, had her attention diverted by Peter Avalon. And, you know, we, we've mentioned numerous times, Taz, that the ropes is a, is a bit of a misnomer because that's just a steel cable, and having your chest driven into a steel cable like that. Yeah, no, we, punishing. Talk, we talked about it last week here on, on Dark, and it's, it's definitely punishing. It hurts his house like hell, just like this side headlock. All of Cash's weight on the side of the ear. That's how you get a cauliflower ear, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. That's a great way to get one. There we get the Bucks eye view over the shoulders of Matt and Nick Jackson. As Cash Wheeler tries to make it to make the tag. Brandon Cutler able to avoid backdrop from Cutler, opening the window of opportunity here. He needs to tag in Avalon. Cash tags out to Dax Harwood. Clean tag right there. Look at that right there with Dax just slid in, cut in front of Cutler to avoid a dive tag to Avalon. Yeah, put placed his body in between Cutler and his partner. And now just brutalizing Cutler, who's caught up in the ropes. And Cash Wheeler just battering Brandon Cutler out on the apron. Yeah, totally. I mean, that polyhedric die is not going to help him right now. Did I say he, it right. He drove. Exactly. And oh, oh. what the? I took <laughs> Leave his book. Dax, but he took his eye off the off the ball for a no. second. Wow. That was funny though. <laughs> it allowed Cutler to get in some shots, but Dax Harwood. You can see feeling the effects of those right hands by Cutler. That's the Cutler's a hell of a striker. Underrated, I feel. I've, I've talked about that before here, man. Um, with some of his offense, but the uh, FTR is really grounded. Cutler oh. for sure. Right hand there from Cash Wheeler, driving Cutler face first to that top turnbuckle pad. And, oh, he's, he stole the book from Leva Bates once again. Oh, he tore the book. Well, not much. I mean, FTR's not big readers. So. Oh! Cutler got out of the way of Cash Wheeler. Yeah, that was a hard landing for, for Cash. He's got to try to get uh, Dax here, but Avalon needs to get in. There you go. He's in now. He's legal. D Dax Harwood to the cross body of Peter Avalon. Step up and see Gary. Takes down Wheeler. Chopped to the chest by Avalon. Irish whip to the ropes, reversed by Harwood. Boot up. Oh, another Ooh, wow. is he, Gary? That one took down. Look at Avalon. Harwood. Split, split like, good job. Cover one, two, no. Excellent stuff by Avalon here. Look, big blow right there to the face by Cutler. Whoa. Oh, my God, what a landing. But a drop kick there by Avalon takes down Wheeler. Now, Irish whip into the rope, reversed once again by Harwood. He goes under. Oh, man, oh, man, what a clothesline. What a clothesline. And Peter Avalon seeing stars. As Dax Harwood trying to collect himself there after that onslaught by Avalon. Yeah, that was a shot and a half. That clothesline was super heavy duty. Tag out as Wheeler. Oh, no. They oh, got man. Avalon up. Spike pile driver. No, oh. oh. Breaker by FTR. Cover hook of the far leg. Two, three. The winners of this match, FTR. Well, I'll tell you, I mean, uh, in my opinion, one of the most dangerous moves in the sport of professional wrestling is a spike pile driver. And that's exactly what you see here. I myself broke my neck, had my neck broken with that move. 
uh, many years ago in the great state of Florida here where we are in Fort Lauderdale. So I, I can tell you from experience how bad that move is, how nasty FTR putting out Avalon. But a very interested onlooker. We saw FTR looking in the direction of Tully Blanchard. And Tully, I think, gave him a, yeah, a head nod right there. He, Tully likes what he sees. That's a big endorsement, big influence. There's Tully on guys like FTR and the Young Bucks right here. Maybe a little interaction. Young Bucks impressed by the victory. Shake of hands, good show of respect between these two teams. I mean, many people thought FTR and Young Bucks would be, be perfect rivals, but they seem to have uh, come to some sort of alignment here, Taz. Yeah, it's interesting. We guess have to continues. Well, they get back in that fancy truck. They forgot their leather jackets. Hopefully someone threw it in the back of their pickup for them. Otherwise, I'll tell you what, I'll grab those things and sell them on eBay. Now kids, big and small, can relive their favorite AEW moments at home with the brand new Unrivaled Collection by Jazzware. The chief brandy officer is here, repping the ladies. Brandy. AEW Unrivaled, available exclusively at Walmart this Monday.